Michelle Boyd is a mother of two kids and I also am an engineer, petroleum engineer. I graduated with chemical engineering um, to, more than 10 years ago at the University of Texas and also I acquired my master's in executive MBA at the University of Texas uh, last year. In high school I went to Kakniberi Girls High School. It is located in Nandi County and I did well in my KCSE beating all odds. Uh, in that uh, history of the school. However much I was so good in sciences and math, I didn't do so well in KCSC. And so I did not get the cut to join chemical engineering in our one of the universities here in Kenya. So that's whenever my parents decided, let's get an opportunity, go to the US, do the entry exam, and that's whenever I decided to totally show what I'm made of. I did my entry exam, I did very well. It occurred to me very fast that I need to look for a job because I have to pay my bills and uh, cater for my school fees. So I looked for, I applied for so many jobs and I finally got one at the supermarket. And also I got an opportunity to do my internship with BP when on my last year, my last summer. So I did a three months internship and I knew that, you know, this is gonna be a very tough one because we had to go to the field. You, you basically have to figure things out and you have to be tough. So at BP I had worked for seven years, different locations. I worked in Texas, the field in Texas, we had 2000 wells. We worked in Wyoming where we had different challenges of snow and cold. We had another 1,800 wells filled. And then in New Mexico, we had another 2,000 wells. So 2012, that's whenever we heard about Kenya has discovered oil and gas. The Talo team, they had come to an African uh, submit a career fair in Houston. And yes, I was called and so I decided, you know, let me just pass by really quick. And that's when everything started. And they actually were kind enough. They took me uh, to one of the rigs, a drilling rig in Turkana. We went there for a day trip. I was able to see, connect to people, ask them questions and see for myself. And yeah, when I came back, um, yeah, I had to make a decision. And the decision was, I have to be home. Like they already lined up what they needed me to do. And this was to be a lead of world integrity, and that's in East Africa. So that is Kenya, Uganda, and Ethiopia. I thought that was a great opportunity to, to just even visit different countries and just see like what are the things that I can improve on when it comes to procedures and policies because this is a project I used to do it um, on a mini side in the, when I was at BP. Right now we have just finished our, they call it EOPS project, but in full it's early oil pilot scheme. This is where we, we are in a phase of doing production and we are producing five wells and we had committed to deliver 2,000 barrels out of these five wells and also we have a mini plant that uh, we had constructed in Lokichar where it would separate uh, the crude oil versus water versus gas. So I was the lead of that project and we delivered it successfully and we also got a chance you know, to get the president to come view first delivery of oil in Kenya. I took ownership in creating a mentorship program where we'll go out to the high schools and talk to them. I took it also to the next level. I started sponsoring one of the boys who come from that particular community where he was called to a national school through my mentorship and my foundation. We have been sponsoring him till to date. I got invited with the community. They also gave me a goat as a present uh, for taking one of their child as my own and giving him open opportunity for him to pursue his dreams. For me, uh, career-wise, what's next is I've started a consulting firm. I'm looking into uh, taking my skills, my experience, and consult uh, in Africa, and uh, just uh, seeing this consulting firm, uh, firm grow from, you know, to be something little and humble into something big. For the young girl who's out there watching this, I would say, 
if someone is not understanding you, if your parent is not understanding you, if maybe your relatives are not understanding you, your teacher is not understanding you, we are here. We are here to support you. We have gone through it ourselves and we would like to hold your hand for you to be able to pursue your career and be successful and you are destined for greatness. So you just need that little uh, support that you're going to get from the mentors that are here.